Good morning, Viewlands first graders. I'm so glad you're here for today's math lesson. Today's learning target is we can compare numbers to 100 using symbols. The materials you're going to need today are a set of numbers, 0 to 9, blank paper squares, blank paper and a pencil, and a sheet protector uh, if you need. So stop the video here and go get some supplies. If you have index cards, I'm gonna show you how to make our number sets using index cards. But if you just have blank paper, um, go get a couple sheets of blank paper and you can also make your numbers and your blank paper squares just with blank paper. You'll need a pair of scissors, so pause the video here, go get a couple materials, and then come back and push play when you're ready to move on. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our numbers zero to nine. I don't have number sets here in my house, so I am going to um, make them. I found some index cards upstairs, and I'm gonna cut these index cards into threes into thirds this means I'll take one whole and I will cut it into three pieces each piece is a third okay now I have a bunch of blank cards we need two number sets today the numbers zero to nine remember I told you if you know your numbers zero to nine you can make any number in the world so take your time and you're going to make two sets of numbers. So I need the zero twice, one, one. If you don't have number cards in your house, stop the video, take a minute and make some number cards and come on back. Great, I have my number cards ready to go. But the other thing I'm going to need today is a smaller piece of paper where I am going to be using symbols to compare numbers. These symbols, which I'm just gonna use two, are called the greater than, less than sign, and the equal sign. So on one piece of paper, I'm gonna draw my greater than and less than sign. A greater than and less than sign is just like a sideways V. I guess you could probably turn your paper, maybe make a V. But the way this symbol goes, is sideways, either this way or this way. The other symbol we need today is our equal sign. So today, we are going to compare numbers to 100 using symbols. We'll use the greater than or less than sign, or if the numbers are the same, we'll use the equal sign. On my blank piece of paper, I'm going to just draw a square around this symbol, because that's where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna draw a line on this side because I'm gonna have a number over here, and I'm gonna compare number, this number, with another number that's gonna be over here. So pause the video here. If you need to get set up, you'll need to create a blank piece of paper, looks like mine. Get your numbers and get your symbols. Come on back when you have everything you need and we'll continue with the lesson. Hey, welcome back. All right, 
So today I'm gonna slide my comparing workspace in my sheet protector so that I can use it multiple times. I'll find my dry erase marker. Maybe I'll need it, maybe I won't. I'll find my symbols and my numbers. Um, I Because I wrote my numbers in order, I need to take a minute and I'm gonna shuffle them all up. Before we begin, I wanna talk just a little bit more about our symbol that is used to compare. The greater than, less than sign is a symbol that we use to show if a number is bigger or smaller, larger in number, quantity, or less. There are two sides to this symbol. There's a wide open side. This side represents greater than. There's a little tiny dot side right here. And this side of the symbol means less than. We read the sign in order. So sometimes the greater than less than symbol for little kids can be, some people say it's like a monster or an alligator who likes to eat the bigger number. So we can draw little teeth and we can draw a little mouth on ours if that's helpful to you. I'll also just draw this symbol again. I liked using the letter V, that worked well. I'm also gonna just draw the symbol with no teeth, okay? We'll go back and forth. All right, so let's get, begin comparing numbers. What we're gonna do is, I have all my numbers here, I'll shuffle up. We'll start easy, we'll start simple. We're gonna turn over one number on each side of our board. Here I have a five, here I have a zero. So today's lesson is, let's compare. Which number is greater, five or zero? So we get a greater than, less than sign. I already know I'm not gonna use my equal sign because those two numbers are not equal. If I had five cookies and you had zero cookies, that's not equal, right? That's not fair. So we're gonna take our greater than and less than symbol and we're gonna decide, hmm, which number is bigger? Which way should the symbol go? Which one would the monster eat? Does he want five cookies? Or is he gonna eat zero cookies? No, I don't think that would make him very happy. So the symbol is gonna go in this direction. I'm gonna use my non-monster symbol. And the way we read this board is we say five, is greater than, because I'm reading this side of the symbol, five is greater than zero. All right, I did it. I'm gonna put my, those numbers back in my pile because I need them. And let's do another one. We'll keep it simple one more time. One and one. Hey, that's easy. If you have one birthday cake and I have one birthday cake, those are equal. If you're using dry erase and you um, don't have your symbols, you can just write your symbol equal. One is equal to one. That's how we read that one. One is equal to one. Okay. Now, you're gonna get a little trickier. Uh, I need to separate those ones. We're gonna turn two numbers over and we're gonna have a number in the tens place and a number in the ones place on both sides. So let's see. This number that I'm gonna use over here is 73. That's a big number, 73. This number over here, one set of 10 and four, 
second number is 14. So the question we're asking you today is to compare. Which is greater, 73 or 14? With your symbol, you need to decide and show which number is greater. Do I go this way? Is 73 greater than 14? Or is 73 less than 14? Or are they equal? Well, I know they're not equal. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna put it this way. Because if I had seven sets of 10, if I was counting in my counting collection, something that had seven sets of 10, I would know right away that that had more because this one only has one set of 10. So 73 is greater than 14. All right, your turn. I'm gonna show you a number and you're gonna do the symbol first. This number is 48. And we're comparing it to 58. All right, your turn. Put your symbol in the middle. Which number is greater, 48 or 58? You're right. 58 is greater than. So I'm gonna put my big symbol facing the bigger number. Where's my monster? Here he is. He's gonna eat all the bigger number. But the way we read this is we read from left to right. 48, because this side is pointing to the 48, we say is less than 58. 48 is less than 58. Your symbol, if you were turning it that way. All right, your job today is to continue to use your numbers. Take your numbers zero to nine, turn them over, and continue to compare numbers to each other. And draw your symbol representing which number is greater by using your greater than less than symbol or your equal symbol. If you really understand this and you wanna have some fun, see what would happen if you turned over three numbers. All right, have fun comparing today and take a picture of your comparing numbers and send a picture to your teacher. We'd love to see you comparing your numbers using the greater than, less than, and equals symbol. Have fun, bye.